Searching for a textbook using the OER Commons is a relatively easy task. First, we need to go to the site itself. And we see this screen. And in the search box, we're going to put in the subject matter of our class that we need a textbook for. So here, I'm going to put in American History. And then I'm going to search for that particular subject and see what sort of materials that they have for American History. Now, what comes up on the screen is all the different materials they have for American history, and I just want to narrow it down to textbooks. Later on, we'll look for other materials. So under Material Type, an option that we have here on the left, I'm going to select that and scroll all the way down to where it says Textbook. And by selecting that, it filters out everything that was on the screen except for the textbooks. Now we have a list of textbooks. And I'm going to go and start taking a look at these, and you notice under this History 212, it says, No Strings Attached. That means I can use it any way I want. I like that. So I'm going to take a look at this textbook. And by selecting that, we'll get a screen that gives us a little bit more information on the textbook. But now I'm going to actually, I want to view it, to be able to review it for myself. And I'm going to select the Resource button. And up comes this screen. And it's going to take a while to load up. So I'm going to go get some coffee and come back. And by then, it should be loaded. Hang in there. We're now a couple minutes later and it's finally completely loaded up. As you'll notice, it has 446 pages. And I can download it if I want by selecting this option here. But I'm just going to scroll through here just to get an idea. And this is 1865 to present. So I'm going to look down here and it has a variety of topics. You can see by the uh, table of contents, I'm going through a little quickly. And I'm going to come down here to actual text parts. So I'm going to scroll down quite a ways to give you an idea of what the text looks like. And here's beginning of Reconstruction. Pictures, text. All of this is free for you to use, free for your students to read. So let's take a look at another textbook, because I want to show you something that has a little bit of variety of formats that you can choose from. So I'm going to go back to the original screen, and here we are, and I'm going to come down here to where it says U.S. History, and that also says no strings attached. Good news. So we can use this any way we want. I'm going to again select View Resources, and this page comes up to give us an idea, and what I just wanted you to notice was I have the options of viewing it online, downloading a PDF, I can actually order a physical print copy, I can actually download it to iBooks and download it to Kindle. All these options are available, so if you just gave this website to your students, they would have a choice of how they wanted to uh, consume the material, either through on the computer or actual physical copy. So these are two books that you could get for absolutely no charge for your students to use, and there's many more there. So take a moment now and take a search through this and see if you can find any book or any, any sort of material like that that can help you in your class. Enjoy.